Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the February 2014 Grade 3-4 Contest Question 11, which came up in all the other contests. So, the question is, what is the number in the bottom right corner of this square? Okay, so right away, looking at the diagram, you can see that in the top row, the numbers just go up by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and in the left, far left column, you can just see it's the exact same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now the question is, how do, how do we find out all the other numbers in this diagram? So let's take the smallest number out of all of these other numbers, which would be 5. So now we will try to calculate 5 by using neighboring numbers. So the two different neighboring numbers of 5 are 10 and 2. So let's try division. So 10 divided by 2 gives 5. So, so far that works, but if you apply the same rule to 10, then you can see that 17 divided by 5 isn't 10, and neither is 17 divided by 3. So we know that this rule is inconsistent, and therefore we cannot use it to find the bottom right number. Okay, so let's try adding up direct neighboring numbers from 5. So we know that we can't add up any of these numbers to get 5 because they're a lot bigger than 5, so we will take smaller numbers obviously to add up to get to 5. So the two direct neighboring numbers to 5 are 2 and, and 2 again, so we have 2 plus 2 is 4 and which is not 5. So we know that this does not work so therefore we must add up more numbers to get to 5 so we will add up the diagonal numbers. So here we can see that there's 3 in this diagonal, 3 in this diagonal, and 1 in this diagonal. And we know that 2 plus 3 gives 5. But if we use this for any other number, so let's say 10, we know that 3 plus 4 is 7 and not 10. So instead of doing these two numbers, we will try the other diagonal, which is 1. So we know that 1 plus 2 is 3. So, which is not 5 yet, but if we add up this 2, then we have 3 plus 2 is 5. So, if we want to apply this exact rule for all the other numbers, we have to add up the left number, the top number, and the top left number. So, let's use this rule for 10, and we will add up the left number, which is 5, the top number, which is 3, and the top left number, which is 2. So, 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So this works. So just to show that it is consistent and we can apply that rule to find this number, we will do this for 17. So we will add up the left number, which is 10, the top number, which is 4, and the top left number, which is 3. So 10 plus 4 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So this works. So now just to make sure that it really does work, we will use it for the two biggest numbers in this diagram, which are 25 and 52. So for 25, it would be 10 plus 10, which is 20, plus 5 is 25, which we have here, so that works. And for 52, that would be 25 plus 17, which is 42, plus 10 is 52, which we have here. So we know that that rule is consistent, and therefore we can apply it to find this number in the bottom right. So we know that we must add the left number of the, whatever this number is, which is 52, and the top number, which is 52 again, and the top left number. So we have 52 plus 52 is 104, and 104 plus 25 is 129. So therefore, we know that this number must be 129. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.